Hello everybody. Uh, I feel like I'm going crazy. First of all, I just did a recording of this game and it somehow broke where no guest would enter the zoo. But anyways, I explained that I also, like the past couple of days I've been meaning to record a lot of footage uh, because I wanted to do a sort of Zoo Tycoon 2 anthology video where I talk about the base game and all the expansions and you know I record I wanted to record footage for each uh, expansion on a separate map and it would have been really cool but I realized that OBS didn't record the uh, not the microphone I didn't want to record microphone I wanted to record audio a desktop audio and it just didn't do that so I can't use that footage so anyways today we're gonna jump in we're not gonna be playing on this map because I just played on it and it seemed to be buggy Otherwise, uh, what should we play on? So this game has, it's really cool. I really like it how it's separated into biomes. There are all these different biomes where animals can live. And all these uh, biomes, you know, uh, are separated to give you different maps. The foresty one, uh, desert. I want to I wanna have a park where we have endangered uh, animals because I just got it into my head that I want to have that. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, before I played on this map, on endangered species maps there are basically like national park-esque uh, enclosures for the animals where you cannot actually edit anything. Like here uh, you cannot delete trees, you cannot do anything. That's kind of that, like the theme behind this expansion. Except this one. But yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't really prefer those because I like editing every little bit of... Like this, is, this map sucks because these little shitty, like swampy, uh, you know, uh, enclosures for the animals are just too small, I think. And they're separated. You can't edit them. You cannot delete like these fences. Because they are like national park areas. Let's go. What do I feel like doing? Tundra? No. I already did Boreal Forest. So let's do... Ah, oh, there's so many animals in Temperate Forest at the beginning. Rainforest? Do I want a rainforest? Yeah, actually, we're still playing on rainforest because I just unlocked. Uh, you'll see what I unlocked. I unlocked the jungle themed buildings. Super cool, right? And. Yeah. I like playing on big maps because there's enough space to do anything you want. We're gonna have Jeep rides, we're gonna have sky trams, we're gonna have a lot of stuff here. And one of the first animals we're gonna be making a enclosure for. Anyways, before that, um, it always give you a, gives you a challenge. So you read the challenge. You should read. You should read every single challenge because sometimes you accept it. You cannot decline them afterwards, and you just cannot do the challenge because it's too fucking hard. So they want. Okay, so they give you a free. Uh, uh, gift cart item which is actually pretty good uh, and you only have to have 20 guests enter in the first month that's easy it's gonna pause the game so we have enough time to set up our okay uh, the animal is not here this is what I want on pause yeah yeah 20 guests yeah so the first thing you do go into animals and then you can click on this X to get like new animals you can buy right and because we have half a star, we can only buy half a star animals. They're all ranked. Right now. Uh, but that's fine. I probably don't want to put them here because the fence is too low. Uh, it's easy. I just place them here, I guess. I don't know if these can, these animals can jump out. Because the fence is too low, but uh, we'll give it a go. This is big enough, honestly. Let's buy them. And the reason why we're gonna be rushing to buy a few of these 
um, is because guests will enter the zoo only after you have a bought animals. So you can you know do all sorts of construction work, but until you buy animals, uh, they are programmed so that they only enter after buy a couple of bananas they can eat. I always put some fence gates so it's convenient. Oh, oops. Here we go. And they can sleep under the trees. Now the cool thing is because we started on a tropical rainforest map, these trees are not available until your park, you know, becomes like uh, basically everything is tiered. So not just the animals, but you know, plants and different uh, like restaurants and uh, stands are tiered depending on their star level. And it's not much available. If, as you can see, there's like eight trees. And only like two of them are tropical rainforest trees we can buy. So we just drag them in. You don't really need to drag in um, foliage and, you know, plants and flowers and whatnot. But in this case, these animals can sleep under the trees if they want. There is a need that they have called uh, privacy. Yeah. So guests are entering. They're going to probably start coming this way. Now, this game... The best way to make money, it's really weird, but your guests become angry if they cannot donate. If they see an animal and there's no donation box next to the uh, enclosure, they will become angry. <laughs> so we'll place one here. It's weird, right? Like it's the opposite in, in real in real life, I think. I feel like. Put them there. And what we're going to do whilst they're coming in is also buy a couple of uh, food stands and restrooms. And uh, as you can see, there are different themes. So these restrooms are the same, but uh, generally speaking, themed buildings, they cost more money, but at the same time, they make the guests happy, amused. And this is really important. I actually, like the last couple of days when I've been playing this game, uh, I've been realizing that the guests have uh, really... Like I, I always made parks where which didn't really have any like fountains, you know, any fun stuff, and the guests were always pissed off and left the zoo because they are, they were not amused. Like they were literally <laughs> not amused by it. So I'm trying to figure out uh, where to place the stands. Probably here. I always make a little like uh, asphalt island. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna go with the jungle hot dog stand and the jungle soda stand. Uh, you don't start with these, you start with the basic one and you start with the tundra themed ones because that's like DLC. Uh, this one I unlocked because these challenges that you get, if you complete like I think 10 of them, you unlock the jungle ones. And there's all sorts of uh, different themes you can unlock. There's also like an African themed one you can unlock, uh, which you get for I think even more challenges. But each expansion has its own theme as well, so you can actually exit, go to the main menu, and then there are these um, missions that you can do uh, that unlock different items, you know, from each expansion. We're gonna go into Zookeeper mode. It's really cool how you like. You see, you can come down and then, you know, groom the animals. Uh, replenish replenish food. Luckily, this doesn't cost any money to replenish food. You can also buy zookeepers, but they cost around five hundred dollars a month. That's their salary. So right now, we don't really need a zookeeper because we only have like one uh, enclosure. I can just manage that. Uh, before I forget, let's buy a couple of benches. Again, themed ones so that the guests are happier. They they get their little like amusement. Also themed uh, trash cans. And as you can see, the caveat is that normal trash can costs $100, themed one is 140 Luckily, it doesn't have any upkeep or anything. But it, it's going to pay off in the future, I think, because the guests are going to be happier, you know, seeing these. Let's buy another bench and put it here. Why not? I really like this map. It's kind of cool how it is. I really like this um, idea that they had where... Uh, you have like a river and then you have 
sort of like this bridge going over it. You can actually make uh, like actual bridges. These were added in uh, the first expansion, which is re the first expansion, guys. Added so much content to the game. It was insane. I mean, the base game didn't have bridges. It didn't have any safari uh, jeep rides. It didn't have sky trams. I added a lot of stuff. Uh, these animals are called bongos. They are sort of a, a type of deer that lives in um, Africa. And these are actually... These animals weren't added in the uh, first expansion pack, Endangered Species. They were added in the second expansion pack called African Adventure. Oh boy. And honestly, most of the graphics, uh, it aged really well. There's one thing that I never liked, one type of animal that never looked good, and that is big cats and uh, bears I, I think they like messed up their faces so they're really a little bit cartoony but these like deer type animals look pretty great even nowadays i mean this game uh, the the base game came out in 2004 14 fucking years ago like what are you gonna expect just checking if you need anything else i'm actually gonna buy a fountain because it also ups the amusement need of the guest uh, we're probably gonna put it here. fuck i can't move the restroom uh, some stuff you can't move. Like benches, I could move it. Sorry, uh... Here we go, 20 guests. So we got a free gift card. And gift cards... This is great because normally... See, I cannot buy a gift card because... I think it's like a star one or a star and a half. Uh, is when you unlock it. So we got a little bit of head start. And what happens is... This guest will, you know, see the bongos. That's what they are called. It's like... The bongo drama, I guess. The guests will see our bongos and they're going to be like, Oh, yeah, I'm a massive fan of these animals. And then they buy like a bongo hat or something. I don't know what it is. It might be a shirt or a backpack. I think it's a hat. I'm not going to find it. I'm not going to find it now. Uh, we'll just check in a couple of minutes what uh, the guests are wearing. So it's... Uh, it's a waiting game. Like, this game takes a lot of time. There's a lot of waiting around for money. Um, as I said, most of the money comes from donations. We got $100 uh, donations so far, which is not much, but, you know, the park just opened. And so far, we have upkeep on these two stands. Uh, $50 each month. Yeah, it's a bit more. Unfortunately, I just realized that these uh, hot dog stands and the soda stands, they actually have $50 upkeep as opposed to 25 you know, the normal ones. Uh, which is double the amount. It's like having two hot dog stands almost. Right? And you got to think about these uh, little things because, as I said, it's just... Uh, you have to be really strategical as to how, how you make your money. Um, what I found is to gain stars in this game, it's kind of similar to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Some of the trash here. Fucking animals. Uh, let's put a trash can here as well. And clean this up. So it's kind of like Jurassic, the Jurassic Park Park Builder game. Where um, I found that I find that uh, the way you advance in stars, in star ranks, is to have... Is literally just to have more animals. You gotta have more animals. You, we cannot advance to the next uh, stage. Or we can, but it takes a long time with just like one type of species. As you can see, where is it? This is also uh, somewhat uh, what you have to follow. So number of animals, number of species. Uh, the more, you know, uh, green you have, the bigger these bars are, the more likely that you'll advance a star rank. You can release animals in the wild, you can uh, do challenges. There's entertainment, there's education, you know. And there's, it's, it's pretty funny because you can do stuff like um, put like wrong trees. Like maybe if this wasn't a tropical rainforest enclosure, we put the trees in here. The guest would actually become dumb. Because, you know, those trees don't belong in that biome. So that like uh, negates education, the education points. Entertainment, there's various things you can do for entertainment. I'm not going to 
do it. You can buy these like entertainer guys. They cost 200 a month and, and they are really effective. But I feel like they make the game too easy. Uh, plus I kind of decided not to use uh, later expansion stuff. Like I'm not going to buy extinct animals. Uh, I don't know. I just want to play, you know, by the theme. Let's just say that. Oh, the hygiene one. So this one will give us uh, $1,400 if uh, all of our animals uh, stay clean. Let's just check. So this one, so this is kind of... Uh, sometimes you can fuck up in this challenge, right? Because um, you just don't pay attention. You have, we have to be cleaning these animals constantly. Not constantly, but every now and then. Because if their hygiene need goes to red then we lose the challenge. But to be honest, it's not that big of a deal, you know. Oh, why is that guy mad? Restroom. We just fucking go to the restroom. Yeah, a lot of people, it seems like... Let's check. It's important to manage your park. So let's check. Yeah, these guys are like super angry. Probably because of the restroom. Sometimes you don't know why they are angry like he just says she just says I don't like this zoo and there's no indication Why it's probably because uh, of the restroom line, so we'll buy another one. I Mean the upkeep is only 25. It doesn't matter if it's uh, themed or not. It's the same I don't want to put the restroom next to the uh, the hot dog stand. That's disgusting Let's put it here uh, we cannot buy any like cool torches or anything. We are, we are only like starting out, so there's not much item, not many items you can buy. Uh, did we buy? We didn't buy the fountain. I'm gonna buy it now. There's no upkeep anyway, so it's kind of like an investment if you think about it. It just looks retarded if I place it, and you can't move it, can you? I normally put a fountains at the beginning of the zoo, like here, but. I feel like it's a waste because people are people that are coming in they don't really need to look at the fountain they they're already like kind of like uh, you know happy and content and the people that are already leaving that are like red you know they're angry they're not amused they already decided that they would leave the zoo so this fountain here does nothing so I'm just gonna terraform here a bit I remove this little hill and then place it here I like placing it diagonally so it's a bit more interesting. You can have like a jungle path around it or something. Challenge failed! What? Are you serious? What the fuck happened? All of them were clean. Oh no. But how? I cleaned up all the poo. Oh man. Oh, they, they started to poo at the same time and then the enclosure became unhygienic, I guess. Wow. I, I got cocked. I got cocked out of this challenge. It's too bad. I don't like how this... Luckily there's like um, an undo button. So if you mess up at any point you can just undo it. And you can undo stuff like buying animals as well. Yeah, it's symmetric. It's fine. I like that. I like this. Uh, we need to buy more animals, right? It's better to buy animals at the beginning because, as I said, it's an investment. Animals, uh, they don't have any upkeep. Uh, rip, for some reason, replenishing the food doesn't cost any money either. So it's better to buy more animals at the beginning. And this African buffalo, I don't really, like, I didn't want to buy, as I said, from later expansions. This is an African adventure animal, as you can see from the icon. Uh, this little leaf icon is endangered species. Uh, but I'm going to do it. For some reason, the African adventure 
animals at the very beginning of the game are more like you know like tropical and you know swamp I don't know what this guy is doing there might actually put the buffaloes in the middle here because why not you can see that they cannot escape from a low fence anyways Oh, we could have a cool jungle fence as well and the only reason this type of fence this like rope fence is not here it's not because it's weak or anything it's not because they can break out but this fence is actually like I think it's like two stars you need to uh, reach to unlock that fence but yeah I go with the low jungle fence it's more expensive but it's cooler looking I think And I'm not gonna place it right next to the path, I don't know, it just doesn't look that cool. No. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with this. And this I fucked it up actually I shouldn't have deleted that part uh, let's go oh we could have like a cool island here I guess uh no you know what we're gonna place their food there it's gonna be a really big one but we can put a lot of other animals here at around one and a half, two stars, we unlock fla uh, flamingos. And they live in the wetlands, so we can put them in the same enclosure. What we cannot do, and I kind of tried to experiment with this, I put a crocodile in the same enclosure as uh, the flamingos yesterday in another park, and uh, a fucking crocodile like in about four minutes like, really quickly just ate one of the flamingos and I was really sad <laughs> and I, I thought that you know like oh it's zoo tycoon uh, I know that carnivores eat you know herbivores but I thought that it would be a little bit more mild like they wouldn't really do that I just bought one crocodile I wasn't even like I, I directly like I actually said uh, that I'm not gonna buy two of them so it doesn't they don't kill all the flamingos just like fucking kill the flamingo in about four minutes so there goes that plan yeah I don't think they need uh, water there's enough water here these trees are retarded as I said like this these don't belong in the wetlands but it's okay some fences around here we go like I said as I said uh, you place more animals and you instantly get like a star <sighs> yeah this challenge is uh, almost impossible they wanted us to make sure that no guest reaches critical amusement levels well let's see uh, there's already a, a person with critical amusement levels so we, I think we would have failed the uh, the challenge instantly <laughs> Place a couple more. It's just convenient, you know, having these uh, gates and let's, let's poo everywhere. These guys shit so much. So it's really unlucky to have that uh, hygiene challenge actually. Because it seems like these animals just poo everywhere. We unlock some new trees as well. I like these uh, perepat trees. Are they? And you can read about them as well. Yeah, they are from Malaysia. So nowhere near where these uh, buffaloes live. Uh, we lost the star. But it's alright. I'm gonna get it back soon. This is really cool. I like placing...
I really like doing this. I like these uh, shallow water enclosures. Place a couple of logs. Uh, it's kind of stupid to put them in the water. Uh, I'm actually gonna research this salt lake because I'm pretty sure these guys can use it as well. Yeah, they can. Uh, this uh, so animals have this um, stimulation need, and even though um, these guys don't have any like animal enrichment objects. You see, like, they don't have a critical stimulation need. It's because they kind of can do something. I'm not sure what they do in here. But, for instance, when you have um, exercise need, uh, if you don't have any, like, exercise objects, they just run around or they chase each other, you know. They, they just sort it out between themselves. By the way, I forgot to empty these trash cans. Luckily, I remembered. Nice. And before we lose another half star, yeah, I want to refresh this so we get one star animals. So yeah, these are one star animals, actually, all of these. We're gonna buy two salt licks. Where are these uh, guests going? Here, that's fine. I don't need to buy another donation box. Uh, let's put the salt lake at the same spot so yeah um, when these animals go and like lick this like salt lake thing their stimulation need decreases but actually this object I th I'm pretty sure it also decreases uh, hunger right because they eat salt did anybody yeah yeah people bought stuff so they bought bongo items. I can't really see any of these guests having any backpacks or hats. So I'm not sure what the bongo item is. I'm pretty sure the buffalo item is a, a hat. This is really cool. We're going to put donation boxes all around. Uh, because you can move them anyways. Look at this challenge. It's an easy challenge. Take a picture of a guest holding an ice cold soda and a, you know, sitting on a bench. Let me just place this here. Yesterday I had a challenge. Easy. So, uh... In this case, we don't get money for the pictures. We get fame. So more people come in. Like a lot more. We're going to have a couple of extra guests come in. Anyways, yesterday there was a challenge. Which was like this exact same challenge. You know, take a picture of a guest sitting on a bench. Take a picture of a guest holding soda. Take a picture. But it was like extended. So you also had to take a picture of a kid riding this like bouncy ride. And uh, I don't know, like a gift cart. And... I just like went in here, took one picture, and all four uh, requirements were met. One picture for all four. It was crazy. Yeah, these like there, some some challenges are super hard. Some others are just easy. We're also gonna place some arches. Uh, yeah, here. Shit. Why can I place it here? Water. That's okay. That's okay. We just gotta fill it up. A bit laggy. I don't know why sometimes. So basically, when these guests walk under this arch, they just uh, get their amusement need lowered. Let's check. It's important to check. If anybody's pissed off. 
So I'm pretty sure this guest is pissed off because he had to wait a lot at the um, bathroom. Yeah. Even though we have two bathrooms. At two stars, we can buy a bigger bathroom. And let's uh, not get ahead of ourselves. I'm going to keep refreshing until I get you know some animals that I want to buy. Oh, wait. Flamingo is a uh, one star. Uh, I almost said one star item. One star animal. So we're going to buy a few and put them here. They need the same biome, which is wetlands. They actually live in the same location as well, Central Africa. I don't want to buy too, too many. And flamingos don't eat hay. Which means we're just going to buy some shrimps here. Um, you know what? We're going to put these at the same spot. Um, because we don't have a zookeeper and I'm doing everything and it's just easier. Oh, whoops. Ah, I can still go out. Nice. No, it's fine. These guys don't need too much. Okay. So there are these, um, <laughs> let's, let's call it casino quests. Where you pay a certain amount and then you get a free animal. And then sometimes, you know, it's worth it. Sometimes it isn't. So three and a half thousand is too expensive. I'm not going to take it. But there is a chance. Uh, there's two reasons why I'm not going to take it. It's likely that it doesn't, it isn't worth that much. Like, I pay three and a half, uh, f sorry, not three and a half, three point eight thousand. And I might get, like, just a flamingo. But that's the better scenario. The worst case scenario is you get, like, I don't know, a penguin. And you have to build an exhibit for that one penguin now. And that's, that's a lot of money. Right, we reached the 30 minute mark. Go check out the other episodes if you like this one but anyways thank you for watching bye bye